Giving all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakah Kodash, double honest to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a serious one to the icon that's out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. First and foremost, I want to say to Wadi Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai for giving me and a fellow icon the opportunity to do your lessons in these videos, the opportunity to walk down the highways and on the hedges, all to edify and warn the nations of Israel to the so called Negroes, the Latinos, and Native Americans, the 12 tribes of Israel, and what the law, statutes, and commandments, and the promises we give it to. Shalom. So this is a uh, real, real quick video off of the uh, brother posted uh, Zion, Zion Yasharala. All right, uh, and he put. Uh, you can tell you, what you see in here. I don't have to. I don't have to explain what the hell you see in here. Um, uh, his title, you know, one reason uh, the ecosystem is out of whack, man. This is a, this is exactly the reason why, man. And as I've been saying lately, you know, people. What is this thing called? Uh, I think I believe they have a, a thing called Earth Day. I believe that's what it's called, or something like that. The only way, one of the only ways, to clean the Earth is stop eating the cleanup. That's the only way you're going to do that. One of the only ways you're going to do that. One of the main one of the main ways you ha you think of it like this. If something's dirty, you got to clean it up with something, right? If you don't have any cleaning materials, it's not going to be really clean right you want to wash your hands with straight soap i mean what's like you want to wash your hands with straight water or you want to have soap with it you know what i'm saying so it's the same thing with this man you have a nerve you damn devils have a nerve to have to have earth day right or, 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 or something like that i think that's what it's called you have a nerve to have something like that yet you're you you have destroyed our people so much and now look at us man we're doing this bullshit that you're seeing right now because you got them Edomites, man. Then you got a nerd to, we got to clean up the earth. We got to do this. We got to do that. What? Pick it up a couple pieces of trash? Is that what you're doing? How? How? What, what good is that, man? When the whole when the whole ecosystem is is out of out of control, you devils are still spraying chemtrails in the air, man. Right? When it rains, you know what is raining? It's raining chemicals. When it snows, you know what it's snowing? It's snowing chemicals, and that's why I could be like. 90 it was one day it was uh, uh one year i think it was last year it was the year before it snowed real heavy snow was everywhere summer uh spring comes along and it's really warm outside this this big ass snow pile that we keep seeing is still fucking there how the hell is that man i mean it's warm warm no snow anywhere else but right there how the hell is that man right and then of course you'll have a google M uh, article come out well you know, sometimes snow can do this, sometimes snow can do that. That's all your damn trickery. You goddamn devils, man. But you Jake's, man. You this is why Jake has to be put put down, man. Because of shit like this. We tell you do we we if we would have approached this guy right now, he said, But how you gonna tell me what the hell I what the hell I can eat or what I can't eat? Right? And we would tell him, man, look, no, it ain't us telling you, it's the Lord telling you. Well, you know, hey man, I still gotta do what I gotta or or something. You know he'll come up with some bullshit, man. And look at the comments that's getting ready to come up, man. All right? Look at these. Right? It says, nah, because that made me sad as fuck. I'm going to still eat them. But, da but, la but damn, Larry. That's crazy. Like Larry the Lobster or whatever, I believe. Um, uh, You know, uh, it's... uh, LOL is actually too calm. It's actually to calm my nerves. Got to chew through the, through the struggle and shit like that. So anyway, man, so, you know, nobody, everybody's with this, man. You know, you know who it is? So far, it's like three black women on a, on a, um, in a row, you know, but I'm, it's obviously the comment is long, longer, you know, but it's just showing these comments, man. They all for it, man. And this is why Jake has to be put down, man. This is why Jake has to be put down. You think Jake won't listen? Jake ain't going to listen, right? Jake ain't going to listen. Let's get some scriptures, man. I ain't going to be long on this video. I ain't gonna be long on this video. Uh, Jeremiah chapter twenty-two, four. So like in chapter four, verse twenty-two, it says, "For my people is foolish; they have no, they have not known me. They are sad as children, and they have un none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Right? They are wise to do evil, all right, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Right? It says, "For my people are as foolish; they have not known me. They are sad as children, all right. It says they have none understanding. They don't have any understanding, right? They don't. We could, why don't they have any understanding?" They don't know the Lord. They don't know Yahweh Shai. They don't. A lot of them don't even believe in the scriptures. 
A lot of them say that the, that the Bible was written by man, you know, so that's not the answer. So it, what is your answer? Right. Slice of the lobster in half. Is that your, is that your answer? Right. Getting the most money you can. Is that your answer? Getting the, mo getting the most ammunition you can? Is that your answer? What the hell is your answer, man? The black community? The black community? What is the black community doing to each other, man? They shooting each other. And what black community, man? The male and female can't even get along, man. So what black community? Hell, families. Families. Biological families can't even get along. So what So what black community, man? What black community are you talking about? You talking about that bullshit-ass HBCU? Right? A historical black college, university, or whatever the hell you want to call it? Is that what you is that is that your answer? Right? What 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 answer do you have? Is it Islam? Because apparently Islam ain't keeping your black asses out of jail. Right? Is it that? What is it, man? What is it? Is it Egypt is it Egyptology? Because Egyptology seems to be bugging you bugging you the fuck out, man. What is it, man? What what is your answer? We have yet to hear a good answer, man. You got B, you you had people coming to us at camp with BLM necklaces on and shit, BLM hats on. But you know what they do? They they fight tooth and nail, man. They fight tooth and nail for this for their damn oppressors, man. So why even call yourself Black Black Lives Matter, man? Why do you why do you dare call yourself Black Lives Matter? Black Lives Matter for what? You know there's an all lives matter movement, right? So why not join them? What answer? What answer do you have? I get. I guess this is the only answer to resort to, right? Right. This is the only answer to resort to, and and, and it said what they are wise to do evil. Look at look at the concentration on this man's face, man. When he does this, the the precision that he has, man. He's calm about it. He's like, yeah, I got this shit. Cause he's smart about it. He know what the hell to do. He already know what the hell to do, right? Like a pro, an absolute pro, right? He knows exactly what the hell to do. That's what this is talking about. They're wise to do evil, but to do good, they don't know shit. They don't have no understanding, right? They don't. They don't know. They don't. Half of them don't know nothing about no damn herbs, right? You tell them, hey man, take some garlic. They take that shit. They like, man, what the hell is this shit, man? You know, bitching, moaning and shit, man. Right. Anyway. Uh, let's get another scripture. Right. Hosea chapter four, verse one. All right. Um, so I get verse one. Yeah. Yeah, I get verse one. And I'm, I may jump to the main point after verse one. Uh, it says, hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. All right, you so-called black Latino and Native American, you stiff-necked ass people, man. All right, it says, for the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh shall have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. All right, it means to have something against you, right? It has a controversy with you. Look, when you know, when, when you have a, a you know, you, we all know what a controversy is. You, we, Israelites, you Israelites. You have a controversy with the Lord. You have a controversy with the one that created you, the Almighty, the one that created the universe. Are you serious? Are you serious? Right? It says, uh, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Most High in the land. Right, exactly. You people have absolutely no knowledge of the Most High, man. You men, you women, have absolutely no knowledge of the Most High. And your behavior proves that. Especially, especially you goddamn women, man. Y'all behavior really proves that y'all have absolutely no knowledge. Y'all have you do have knowledge of your of your careers. You do have knowledge of TikTok, Instagram, pretty much social media. You do have knowledge of bullshit, but you don't have any knowledge of anything profitable. I'm talking about you men and women, man. Right? You don't I'm Israelites in general. You don't have any knowledge. Of anything that's profitable, man. Anything that's going to save you. But you do have knowledge. You do have knowledge of where where to put place the knife on a, on a lobster and where to split that bitch down the middle. You do have knowledge of that, right? You have knowledge of bullshit and pollution, man. Right? The Lord has a controversy with y'all, man. He has a controversy with all of us, but he has a controversy with y'all, man. For the ones 
that don't that don't want that don't want to wake up, the ones that don't want to learn, the ones that don't want to get right, the ones that don't want to you know treat their bodies better. Cause when you do that, man, you abusing your body when you eating that bullshit, man. You might as well, you might as well eat a dead body. And you Christians, man, y'all are absolutely sick for pushing that doctrine. Every creature of God is good, which it is, but it ain't good to eat, man. Right? It's good. They're good in their own way. Esau is is good at being a devil. So yeah, he, so every creature of the Most High is good in their own little way. That what, what he made them for. He created cleanup to clean up the earth. Right? That doesn't mean they're good to eat. And you season it up, make it taste good, because that's how you get Jake hooked, man. Because we like flavor. Right? If it didn't taste good, you know, how many Jakes would eat that shit, man? Right? How many Israelites would eat that? But y'all are absolutely sick, man. When you when you push when you Christians push a doctrine like that and you can eat whatever it is you want to eat, you know what you're saying? Oh, just push pretty much forget the earth. You gotta feed yourself, forget the earth. And then when the earth is out of order, the food gets out of order. And then you wonder why the earth is producing fucking arsenic in the air. You know, it's pushing arsenic in the air. Why? Because it's so damn polluted, man. It doesn't know what the hell to do no more, man. Remember, Earth mourneth and fadeth away. The Earth mourns. Right? You can say it's talking about the people of the Earth. But it's actually talking about the Earth as well, man. The Earth is a living thing, man. Right? Earth is living. Verse 2, it says, By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touch of blood. Let's talk to you so-called black Latino Native American people, man. You shameless ass people. Verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because they have because they has rejected knowledge. So like because thou has rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. Right? So you're destroyed for a lack of knowledge because you rejected knowledge. We stand out there on the highways and on the hedges. You know what you say? These guys are a little dirty, right? And they're funny looking outfits, screaming and yelling at everybody over nothing. Right. All that's all they do is scream and yell, and they just they just stand there and just scream and yell, complain and shit like that. The hate group they believe in all the, all types of you know bullshit. But again, what's your answer? Is it Christianity? Because apparently it's not working. Shit is shit has been getting worse. Is it Islam? Because the shit ain't working. You know, I, the last time I hear that's a jailhouse religion. Right. So is it that? What is it? What's the answer? Is it Black Lives Matter? Because that shit ain't working. Because black black on black crime is actually escalating. What is it? I don't see any other answer. Is it Satanism? Shit ain't working. It don't say it don't seem like it. Right? Is it Egyptology? Shit ain't working, it don't seem like it. Right? A lot of you Egyptologists ass niggas, y'all be y'all be still smoking that weed and shit. Y'all y'all be still eating pork. Y'all eat y'all eat a whole bunch of shit, man. Right? Y'all still be eating crabs and shrimp, you know, and all that stuff. Islam, they just don't believe in eating pork. A lot of them still eat crabs and shrimp and all that shit, man. Right? So my question is, and I might I might even do a, another video on that, man. What the hell is your answer, man? What the hell is the answer? No, not your answer. What the hell is the answer? Because when we when we do these lessons in these videos, when we go out there on the highways and on the hedges, we tell you immediately. This ain't our answer. These are not our words. This comes from the Almighty Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, not us. These are not these are not our opinions. So every time y'all you you idiots come up to us and ask, I want to know what you have to say. Not what the not what that book got to say. I want to know what you got to say. We, you know what we tell you? Keep your ass moving, man. Keep your ass moving, cause if you don't want to hear what the book got to say, we don't want nothing to do with you, man. If you want to hear our own opinion, guess what? Our opinion, the, the Lord, we funnel everything through through the scriptures, man. Right? Our opinions only only go as far as I don't know what your favorite movie or some shit like that. 
or what's your, or what's your you know favorite type of food or whatever. That's that's as far as opinions go. When we out there and we and we uh, teach and when we do these lessons, and these videos, our opinions don't mean shit. And that's the problem. Everybody has opinions on what the hell they should or shouldn't do. And this is why y'all people still eating pork, crabs, and shrimp, and you fucking up the whole ecosystem, man. Right? That's the problem. Opinions. Opinions are a problem. There are no facts in the world, man. There are absolutely no facts. Right? You reject knowledge. You reject, you reject knowledge with what? Your damn opinion. Your vain-ass opinion. Right? You can't trust in your own heart. You can't trust in your own spirit. So the Lord, you how about Shmi I was shy, man. And that's why we're so messed up. Right? It says, uh, I will also reject thee. Right? So the Lord is going to reject y'all, man. Especially in that day. The shit that's getting ready to come upon this place. Y'all going to wish y'all listen, man. Right? And y'all going to wish y'all listen real. That time is coming, man. It says, uh, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forget, forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. That's not good, man. That's not good on y'all end, man. That's not, really not good. Right? If all you people that fell out, man, all you, all you uh, Israelites, all you guys that have fell out, man, because we got guys, you know, we, we got, we had guys come to this camp, you know, um, you know, just saying, the the uh, the last last um, camp camp leader years ago, you know, fell out. You know, he making posts all over, you know, Instagram and shit like that. And take, you know, he pork. He back. He back into Christ. You know, Christmas and all that stuff. He he doing all types of shit now, man. Dying his hair and stuff like that. You know, he just he just living it up, man. You know. Shame on you, man. And you know what? Any guy like that is even worse than the average two-third, man. Right? So it says, as they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore, will I change their glory into shame. So you see this guy, right? You know, he he the man. You know, he got this shit. He got this shit under control. That's his glory, being able to do that. It looked like he got a little more in the back, in the bags, on the counter. Right? So seeing this guy do that, you know, that's his glory. But that's just that's just get <laughs> that's just get ready to get turned to shame, man. All right. Let's get uh two more scriptures, man. Judges, chapter two, verse seventeen. And yet they would not be so like, and yet they would not hearken unto their judges. There's a reason why why there's a book of judges. Right, and, it, and all through the book of Judges, if you ever read Judges, all through the book of Judges, ju a judge was always set up over Israel, and you know, and when when that judge, when something happened to that judge, like maybe he died, Israel will go right back to to you know bullshitting. All right, it says, and yet they would not hearken unto their judges, but they but they went a whoring after other gods and bowed themselves unto them. They turned quickly out of the way which their fathers walk, walked in. All right. It says, obeying the commandments of the Lord, Yahweh, Shai, but they did not so. So, um, this scripture is talking about this guy, man. You know, guys like this. Right? Let's talk about them. Right? They went on whoring at the other gods. When you do this, you you are you are serving another god, man. Right? You are serving another god. Look, I mean, look, look. When he when when it repeats, oh, look at this thing, man. Look at this thing. Now I understand, you know, a lot of us have used to eat stuff like this. We, you know, I never I never had it. I used to have crabs. All right, but even even with that. Look at a crab and look at this thing, man. When you, when you see, when you are, I'm not going to say woke. All right. Fuck that woke shit. All right. Excuse the language, but you know, that woke stuff, you know, that's, that's all fake. And when you woke, that's, that's like past tense. That means you're sleeping now. 
But when you're awakened, and that's why the scripture says awake, awake, awaken. When you're awakened to this thing, man, and, and when the Lord wakes you up, all you got to do is look at this thing and look at what the hell they do and understand why the Lord told you not what you probably not a good idea to eat that son or, or daughter or whatever mainly son because the lord always talked to the men all right <clears throat> because the men are the heads you know or you know 99 percent of the time they talk you know he would talk to you know the men mainly all right all the time would be the main men mainly but in certain situations it was a little different all right but the man he always acknowledged the sons of israel man he always acknowledged the sons of israel all right um anyway so, you know, when you look at this thing and then you look at the scripture and then you look at what the hell and you just look at, at this, you look at what the hell they do and their purpose, you would understand, okay, yeah, that's probably why that's probably why the Lord told me not to eat it. You know, it's probably probably a good idea not to eat this this insect. Right? Not to eat this uh this thing. I mean look at this thing, man. Right? I mean, we can see it. You know, we go to the grocery store. All you, all you, you know, in the back where the seafood is, they keep them in a in a little case. You know, they keep them in a little, you know, in a little fish tank. You know, you smell them, and it's like, man, that doesn't really smell so goddamn appetizing, right? So, I mean, you know, just, just, you know, just take a good look at this thing and look at what this jig get ready to eat, man. He get ready to eat this. Him and everybody else in the background, he get ready to eat this thing, man. That he just cut and split open, man. Right? Get the last scripture. All right? And and by the way, this scripture that I'm getting ready to read a answers a lot of questions that, that you so-called black people uh, have. All right? Deuteronomy chapter 20, 28, verse 15. It says, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord Thy power, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, to do, to do, so like to observe, to do all His commandments and statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come down, shall come upon thee, and overtake thee. That answers a lot of questions that you just have, man. Why are black people doing going through this? Why are black people going through that? Why, 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 why? This is why. But you know what? You don't want to hear why. You don't want to hear out the book. Right, because that's a white man's book, or 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 that's a book written by man. Well, everything's written by man. What? It, my question is, there goes another. <laughs> as I'm doing this video, man, there goes another nuclear article, nuclear disasters, uh, nuclear disaster fears, uh, grow as Russia reacts, rejects call to demilitarize uh, Europe's largest plant. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. Yet, you got Jake doing this, man. Going against the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Exactly what I'm exactly what we going into. So again, man, this answers a lot of questions. But no, y'all don't want y'all don't want to hear it out the book, right? And this is why this section here, consequences of disobedience. Y'all don't want to hear it out the book. And and this says, like even let's click on that, actually. Uh it says, but oh yep, here Leviticus. Leviticus seven where, where where the where the food laws are too, right? Where the dietary laws are. All right, Leviticus chapter twenty six, all right, verse fourteen. This goes on down to forty six. I'm not reading all that, <laughs> not on this video at least. It says, "But if ye will not hearken unto me, and will not do all these commandments, and if ye shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgment, so that ye will not." Uh, so that ye will not do all my commandments, but that but that ye break my covenant, I also will do this unto you. All right, I will appoint so like I will even appoint over you terror, consumption. All right, and the burning. What's that? What's that? Age or og or something like that. Uh, it says that shall consume the eyes, and cause sorrow of heart. Right. And ye shall sow your seed in vain. All right. For your enemies shall eat it. Your enemies shall eat it. All right. Who, who exactly are our enemies? Esau, Edom, and the dogs that lick the wound. This scripture right here literally just said, this is the reason why I put, I put, 
your uh your enemies over you. So you're gonna call it's gonna cause sorrow, it's gonna cause terror. Right? And everybody looks at Esau Edom as, as this terrible lord. And which he is. He is a he is a terrible ruler. Right? He is a, he is an absolute terrible ruler. But who put that devil in charge? Job chapter chapter 9, verse 24. See, this is why you need scriptures, man. This is why you jinx these scriptures, man. This is why you this is why Jake Israelites need scriptures, but y'all, y'all completely reject it, man. Right? This has everything you can think of, man. Everything that's that every every question that you have, man. We could pull it out through the scriptures easily. And you know what? This answer, these two, but mainly this one too, but just this one. Just this one. But this one made it even more plain. In the book of Leviticus, it made it even more plain. Oh, why the hell are you going through what the hell you're going through, man? Why are black people doing that? I don't understand. And then everybody, everybody always complaining about black, 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 black. But you and especially you are women, man. Crying black people, crying black power. We we're so oppressed. We're this, we're that. But you, you idiots, you idiotic black ass women, man. Y'all will y'all will lay with the Edomite in a heartbeat, man. And the same thing with you jakes, man. Sitting up there crying about, you know, uh, black people are so impressed, so oppressed. But you married to a white woman. You married to an Edomite. To an Edomite woman. And then you come up to us crying, well, you know, black people, black people, black people. And then you ask us what we doing for the black community. Well, you need to you need to get on them and say, well, why are they marrying white women, man? Or why are white women weren't marrying white? So like a why why are, uh black women weren't marrying white men? That's what you need to do. Instead of coming to us, which we never said anything, we never said we were trying to wake up the black community, man. The, you know what the black community is doing? They doing shit like this. This is this is what the black community is doing. This is a straight up representative of the black community. They don't want to hear this. We asked them, man, what the hell are you doing eating? What the hell are you doing with that with, with a big ass lobster on your on your counter, man? You need to you need to throw that shit back in the ocean if it's still alive. Man, you need to throw that shit back in the ocean. Let it clean the ocean, man. Right? Let it clean the ocean. Man, how you gonna tell me what the hell I what the hell I can eat? Man, what the hell wrong with you? What you trying to take? What you trying to take food out my mouth or something? You know? Then he'd be ready to shoot you. That's why we don't. This is why we don't talk to black community, man. Cause then then niggas be ready to shoot you all. You know, Jake always ready to shoot. They just want to. You know, they just want to have an excuse to anyway. But you know, giving all praise on the glory to you. How about Shmuel Shalom?